What's up dudes, so I'm back with another video. Yes, a packing video for Bloodstock, something I've never done weirdly. I don't know why I've never done one of these for Bloodstock. Uh, normally I only do it for download. Um, I never do one for trees and I never do one for Bloodstock. I don't know why, so I thought, why not? Um, let's show you guys what I'm taking, uh, what I'm packing. I've got loads of stuff that I didn't bring to download that I'll be taking with me to Bloodstock because at download I realized mm, I should probably be bringing that with me. It changes every year, some years, I bring loads of stuff to festivals with me. Other years ago, I go quite minimal. I feel like now I've kind of narrowed it down to what I really need or um, what would be just make me comfortable at the festival. So I feel like I'm slowly, even though like, you know, this is my fourth bloodstock, I've been to 15 downloads, you know, like five trees, whatever. I like, it just every year changes sort of what I'm going to bring or what sort of camper I'm feeling like. Um, but this year, at Bloodstock, I'm feeling like I want to bring all of the amenities and um, extras along with me because I want a really nice, comfortable camp, basically. Uh, so yeah, let's run through all the stuff from the big stuff to the small stuff and medium stuff. I don't know, somewhere in there at some point. Let her do this. Okay, obviously starting with the biggest thing, which is, oh Jesus, um, the tent. Uh, again, I'm bringing my Rydell 500, which done really well for downloads. Obviously that being five days, long, long time there. It was a wet one, so it survived that as well. Um, and it was great at trees as well. Um, it does seem a bit excessive sometimes when I'm in it by myself, uh, but I might be sharing this this year with uh, a good person that you all know, I'm sure, Mr. Mr. Ben Chids Vids. Uh, so it might be me and him doubling up in this because the uh, bedroom splits down the middle. Um, I'm gonna have the big bit, I'm gonna make Ben have the small bit. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, the Friday Off have done me really well. So yeah, definitely be bringing this bad boy. My standard bag that I bring every year, um, this isn't even that much of a big one. What's the literage on this thing? Because some people have absolutely giant ones. Uh, this one's only a 50 litre. I know most people have like 70s, um, but it's still, I can fit everything in it that I've got. And uh, I always attach to it my little travel pillow, um, which is actually really good and comfortable. And I always hook my sleeping bag onto the top of it just for ease of carry. I might take that off just so I make sure that I, 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 I re-washed this. I hadn't washed my sleeping bag in probably about six or seven festivals and Vicky put it through the wash for me and it smells absolutely incredible now. Um, so just a tip, you can wash most of them in the washing machine. Um, it, it wasn't that it was smelt bad, it's just that it had been in the loft, so it smelt a little bit like the loft. And um, obviously when you're all sort of cocooned up inside it, you want it to smell nice. So uh, I asked Vicky to put it through the wash and it really worked, it smells fantastic. Yeah, so bag, pillow, which is attached to the bag, the only reason I'm doing these things as well, um, and the bag itself, um, I think they will be bringing. Something that I never thought I would bother bringing, um, but actually I bought one before trees and it was an absolute godsend, is a cool box um, or an ice box or however you guys want to refer to it. Obviously this is just a cheap one. If you would have seen in my um, 2000 trees vlog, Sammy had a really nice Coleman expensive one and it was incredible and it it literally kept ice in it for the whole time we were there like there was still ice where we left it was incredible now this is just a cheap one I got from the range um and you know it you, you can stack everything in it um I, I filled it with ice put everything in there yes the ice by the third day had melted but the water that was inside of it was still cool so I put all of the beers and stuff at the bottom and food at the top it just means that now I'm bringing like a barbecues with me and stuff. It just means save money. I know in the last few videos, obviously the last vlog, it was just me about me saving money. I really have to keep costs down now. So having one of these, you know, I can bring bacon, I can bring sausages, I could bring sausage rolls, just food that I 
perishable food that I wouldn't have been able to bring before with this thing now I can actually bring it and this thing fits perfectly on the bottom of my trolley and I stack everything else on top so for me I think that a cool box has become almost a must-have to keep costs down now so um, I would recommend getting one even one of these cheap ones to start off with maybe in the future when I have a little bit more money um, I might venture out and get a really nice you know proper big Coleman one with a big seal on it and everything but this one did last me for trees so um, yeah highly recommended and something in the past that I never ever would have brought with me. Now I said about a barbecue um, normally I would bring disposable barbecues with me but I saw and I'm going to try and get this into every festival I go to whether I will or not I don't know um, but I saw a guy at trees using one of these it is a mini barbecue so this folds out and then the grill here sits on the top of it like that so you do have to bring obviously um coal with you put that in there and heat it but it obviously looks like that which is pretty cool it's quite small but stands on the stands there so you know nice and safe not gonna fall over obviously cook on that clean it then all you have to do is take the lid off and fold it and then it folds to that kind of shape um, and then for some reason this doesn't fit in there, but you know, I can carry that on the side as well and that sort of hooks onto it. So this is going to be the first time me using this at Bloodstock, um, which should be pretty cool. Um, and like I said, not every festival allows you to bring in your own barbecues, although I don't see the difference between this and a disposable barbecue because I'm going to be taking this back with me and the disposable barbecue you would just leave there. So actually, I think this is better because it is pretty much the same size as a disposable barbecue, except it's not disposable. So I don't see how that can be a bad thing. Um, but yeah, definitely gonna be taking this with me because like I said, I've got the cool box of the food um, and then we are going to be cooking it on this. And you know, we were doing at trees, we were making, we were just buying bread and you can put just toast bread on it. Um, and then we were doing bacon, we were doing sausages, everything basically, just making like sausage toasties that obviously of course normally from the toasty shack at download which was really good i'm not going to diss them but you know it was like nine pound for a toasty i think we worked out that uh, every toasty for the for the bacon uh, for the cheese and the bread cost like one pound fifty per toasty so you can't really go wrong when you're trying to save money so yes i'll definitely be taking this with me um and i would recommend i haven't used it yet uh, i'll let you know what it's like afterwards but um from the build and everything i mean this was what this was like £12.50 from B&M. I've, I've been all over B&M. This is uh, from B&M as well. So go grab yourself one um, if you like the look of it because it is really cool uh, and it looks like it will be quite good. Okay, of course, sleeping. So standard double air bed. Um, obviously, that's a bit big for just me, but maybe I can sprawl out. Um, hopefully, this will fit in the side of the tent that I'm in because um, then we'll have a slightly smaller space in our tent. So we'll see how that, how that goes. Um, a quilt as well. Now, normally... I'm not going to lie, me and Vicky would buy one of these every year from download and just leave it there basically and um, I think that's being really really wasteful so what we decided to do this year was buy one, um, how much was it babe? Like 20 quid or something? 20 quid, sorry she's in the other room, <laughs> um, 20 quid for this and you know normally we buy it there and we leave it if I'm being honest you know I'm not going to not gonna lie to you guys that we don't leave stuff that we probably shouldn't. Um, but I thought, what a waste that is. So I thought, we'll buy the one this year. It's actually a really nice quilt. I'm surprised how nice this quilt actually is. Um, and then I bought some actual covers for it. And then obviously we were gonna tie this up like that and uh, take these for every festival and have them, have them as our festival thing. So it saves us 20 quid every time. Um, and it really, really cuts down on waste as well because I can't imagine how much work actually goes into making one of these and we've just been throwing it away, which is pretty much a, a, a disgrace, really. Um, so yeah, so bought these cool covers from Amazon for like, I don't know, like 10 quid or something. Might even have been cheaper than that, actually. Um, and they're really cool, and it's really nice and soft, so we just wash those and take them to festival. And I, I always have a quilt. I know some people think, you've got a sleeping bag. Why would you have a quilt? It, it might just be me, but it can get really, really cold in the night. And sometimes, even though I have a good sleeping bag, just to have that extra quilt over you. Maybe it's more like a comfort thing where you just feel a quilt. Um, it just makes it much nicer, especially when me and Vicky are there. It's nice to just have, because we're separately in our sleeping bags and then we just have this over us. I don't know, just maybe it makes you feel like you're actually sleeping in a bedroom. I don't know if there's something psychological going on there. Um, but yes, 
a quilt I shall definitely be bringing and hopefully it's going to be comfy. Right now let's go through obviously the smaller things that I have uh, but everything that I will be bringing. The first section I have prepared um, is, I don't know, the pharmacy smelly section. So obviously apart from all this stuff I'll bring my aftershave, deodorant, um, all my creams and everything to keep myself looking beautiful. So I'll bring all of that stuff. That's all in the bathroom. I'm not even going to grab all that. Um, we, got, we have some leftover tissues from download. So I think rather than taking uh, toilet paper and rolls of it, um, I have loads of these. So I think I'm just going to take these with me instead because it should do me. I don't go to the loo that much. Um, got some Huggies, obviously baby wipes as well. Perfect for everything. I'm going to need them for cleaning everything. If the tent's dirty, if I'm dirty, these are the ones. I'm sure that you guys that um, that know about it already know. Um, a mirror, of course, and I've said this before in our download one, this is glass. So if you want to bring a mirror into the festival, just be careful and make sure that you put it far into your bag or just somewhere where people aren't going to find it because believe it or not I have seen people have their mirrors taken off of them before because technically it's glass and you shouldn't be taking it in. I know that you'll think well then how am I going to see myself and see what I'm looking like. I understand that as well but technically because it is glass they could take it off of you so just make sure you bury it in the um, in the bottom of your bag. This one used to see as you can see by the side used to come on a little stand um, and I've had this one since download 2016 and it still hasn't cracked and it still survived and I don't know how. So fingers crossed this thing lasts another year. Um, of course, standardly, uh, uh, our SPF sunscreen and our moisturising gel after sun. Now, I have very sensitive skin. I get heat rash and all that sort of stuff. I'm, this goth body is not made for the heat. So I need this and I definitely need this in the evening as well. So I think I got that for like, that was like two quid from b and I got ages ago and I think that was pretty cheap as well but we like the Malibu stuff because it smells like coconut so it is really nice. A uh, couple of few miniatures as well so obviously my festival toothbrush I have an electric one normally but this is the one that I brought to download and tree so I think I can do another one before I need to buy one for next year. A uh, little tube of toothpaste um, again from the travel section I think I've got I think I've got that and the um, mouthwash from Poundland as well so if you're going to Poundland they do some miniatures which are really, really helpful. Um, and then we have what me and Vicky refer to, I don't know, as our little pharmacy bag. So this was, um, as you can see, a Shaw microphone bag for my SM58 and SM57, but we've since repurposed it um, to hold loads of um, stuff that will aid us. So I've got some Carmax, Carmax, Carmex um, lip balm there because, you know, you don't want that dry lip. Uh, we've got some diorolites in there or some rehydration tablets. They're really good if you're really hungover or you've been blasted by the sun. If you have one of these first thing in the morning, after a couple of hours, this will replace all your electrolytes, um, all of your nutrients and everything that you've lost, all your salts, and you will feel so much better. These are one of my most recommended things for getting for a festival. So if you guys don't have these, you can get the cheaper versions of diorolites from Tesco's. They're just called rehydration sachets i think i have one in here as well somewhere there you go so that's the rehydration treatment that's the cheap one from tesco's but they do the exact same thing and they're like two or three pounds for like six or eight of them i think it might be six um, but they are worth it that will do you the whole festival you only need one don't be taking loads of them uh rennies of course the must-have thing when you're over a certain age um yes i cannot go a festival without having these bad boys that's a must uh, and then we just have some plasters. Uh, we've got some paracetamol, just in case your head's hurting. And then, yeah, loads of different weird plasters in case, you know, you broke up your foot or you broke up your elbow or I don't know. So that is just our little thing. So if you could get some sort of little bag or girls, if you've got like a, an old makeup bag or a little thing, anything to hold anything, it's really cool to put it in there because you're not gonna lose everything. And what I found last time was I was putting all that separate into the bag and it was just going everywhere and I could never find anything. So I do recommend getting like a little shitty bag like that. But yeah, that's the pharmacy section. Uh, let's move on to the next bit. Okay, now I have my big bag of stuff, which just has loads of, I say random, but it has loads of stuff in it that you need for camping. Um, so this is a bag I always take with me um, and it just holds loads of stuff that I need basically. So this year, like I said before, I'm gonna be cooking all of my own food. So I have a mess tin, um, some plastic um, cutlery, which is pretty cool. There's a small mess in there. 
and a big one just wrapped up with each other. Um, I will as well, uh, maybe naughtily, um, but I will be taking my gas uh, and my stove top for it. I know a lot of people do that. I'm not gonna be a ridiculous person and try and, you know, set it on fire or whatever. But anyway, uh, that just clicks into the top of the stove and then you have yourself a nice little gas cooker. So I'll be bringing that to cook stuff with this year as well as the barbecue. Like I said, I'm going all in now, I don't care. Uh, I'm just gonna bring as much stuff as I can to make myself um, comfortable. If I, have to do two, if I have to do two trips to the car, then that has to happen. Um, air pump, of course, super handy. Um, but I will say, like uh, Chids has said on many times before, this will not pump up your bed all the way uh to for it to be rock hard so what i would do is blow it up with this and everyone's got a foot pump do that last little bit with the foot pump and you will get the ultimate um pumped up bed basically uh lanterns of course look at that one beautiful uh, i don't think this one's got batteries in it i don't think it has no but i got these uh a couple of years ago two for 20 quid from tesco's and i think that was yeah two or three years ago they're still going now they're still great i think they take three is it three or four so three double a batteries i've got to get some for that one um but just hang them up in your tent that's what i do and um they come in very handy i'll put one in the front and then one in the bedroom i'm not even gonna bother doing that right now uh one in the front one in the bedroom and obviously they're just hung up as soon as you walk into the tent you just pull that down you've got yourself some light very very cool um super torch i call this one um i don't want to shine it directly at the camera but it is you it's so bright this thing it literally is like a proper amazing spotlight and it's still quite light in this room as well so a torch i will be bringing that as well i have a couple of random little sort of mini poundland ones just in case um that one's not working so it probably needs batteries but these ones um come in quite handy and you can get the poundland they're not bad as well it literally has yeah it's like six little leds in there and they can be quite bright so i do recommend if you can't get yourself you know a proper sturdy big one one of these they'll come in handy trust me um what else have i got now to light up the tent in the evenings we have some other stuff as well uh, I, I bought these little lights again from poundland a few years ago um it's got one flashing red light and then one normal light i just hang these up and turn them on in the evening just to light up the tent and then everyone can just sort of chill in your tent or around your tent in the evening. It just kind of lights up your little campsite, especially if you're camped well away from any walkways and you've got no light, they do come in super handy. What else is in here? Um, some men's pack away pants, just some waterproof trousers. I don't think I'll be needing these at Bloodstock, um, fingers crossed. So I might be leaving, excuse me, these here, depending on what the weather's saying, but um, I definitely use these at download, let's just say that. Um, mallet, uh, mine is a really, really old school one, which is all better than that. But yeah, I always take a mallet. Um, it's just much easier. Some of the ground, especially at trees, we've noticed the ground is super hard. Uh, so you definitely need one of these to bash your way past it and putting them in with your feet actually hurts after a while. Um, I've got some fairy lights as well that I um, put around the tent. Obviously, these are not essentials. You don't have to do these things. I just like to light it up and make it look cool in the evening, especially if we're staying at camp and having a drink. Um, so these, again, from Poundland. So you don't need to spend much money. Just a few rows of these, AA batteries in all of them. And um, they light up the tent really, really nicely. And uh, of course, hand sanitizer. I should have got in with the pharmacy, but I didn't realize. See, random bag. Some hand sanitizer, because um, it's festival. And when you go to the toilet, you ain't washing your hands if they ain't got stuff in there. Um, and finally, a waterproof deck of cards that I've brought to the last, I want to say four festivals and still haven't used because no one wants to play card games. Um, but I've, I've kept them for just a rainy day or uh, for if someone, if people want to make it interesting uh, and they want to play Ring of Fire or something, which I, I feel like Bloodstock would be probably the only festival I might end up using these and going a bit. Ravy Davy. Um, that's it for the random bag. There's some spare batteries in the bottom, but I'm sure you guys don't want to see those. So that's the random bag, um, which has loads of stuff. And uh, there's a few more bits. Okay, so a few more other bits before I've got a couple of bits of food that I'll go on to quickly. Um, 
Speaker, I will be bringing a speaker. Um, obviously you don't have to bring a speaker if you don't want to, um, but we like to have the tunes going. So a couple of the other guys will be bringing one and I will be bringing this done. It's okay, the battery life isn't great, I'll admit it, but the sound from this thing is fantastic. But I do recommend, instead of this, getting the um, Anchor Soundcore ones, because I feel like they are way better for battery life. I've still got the one downstairs in the kitchen that I bought for download 2017 and I've been using it every year since. Uh, I mean, we, we put it on in the kitchen all the time and it's still working. It's amazing. This one, it's okay, but not as good. Um, portable chargers, of course, I will be bringing a few of these bad boys. I think I've got like three or four of them in total. I've got loads of little ones. I know some people just bring one big one, which is fine, um, but I've just got the, the little ones and loads of different versions of this. But of course, always handy to have. I'm doing a lot of vlogging and stuff as well, so it's always good to keep everything charged. I'm sure you guys are the same as well. You don't want to have no battery life. Um, I'm bringing my Dear Download specialised coffee mug because uh, as you'll see, I'll be bringing some coffee with me this time. Uh, I like decaf and um, they don't sell it in many places at festivals. So um, with uh, obviously the gas to cook the water, I'll be bringing my own and filling this up in the morning and then just having a nice drink of coffee. Um, and finally, for this little section, just some water bottles. Uh, I've got a specific water bottle that'll be just for water. Um, these ones will be for alcohol, so that will probably have rum in it, um, and that might have something to shot in it, I don't know yet. Uh, I've got some rum to go in here. I don't know what's gonna go in here, maybe some apple sours or something. Uh, but yeah, these are just good, because obviously you can just clean them out when you get back and use them the next year. So nice and cheap, they only cost me like £1.75, again from b and uh, and I, I've had this for years, I can't even remember where I got it from, but it does come in handy just to keep your alcohol in rather than having to go to the shop and pour away water or bottles or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's it for mainly all of the camping stuff. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm sure some of you would agree that might be overkill for some people, uh, but I don't mind carrying all this because I know that I'll have it when I'm there and there's not literally nothing I don't, I, I don't need anything while I'm there. I have everything. Um, and if I need one little thing, it's probably likely that someone else is going to have it. But I feel like I have most things covered to have a nice, comfortable festival. But anyway, I've got a couple of food bits. Let's uh, move on to that quickly. Um, just saying, b and is not a sponsor, okay? Um, but, but yeah, anyway, I'm sure some of you don't know this, um, but do you know what b and stands for? You probably don't, do you? If you do, then you know what I'm going to say. B&M stands for Bargains and Madness, which I never knew um, until, I don't know, three or four years ago. So, mind blown, Bargains and Madness. And it is madness in there. Uh, so, I went different with the Space Raiders for the last two festivals. I brought Pickled Onion, which I admit are an amazing flavor, but I thought this year, because of the metal, I'll go for the booth. So I've got some Beef Space Raiders. Um, I thought it would be nice for the rest of the people in camp as well. And I brought some shareable Haribo uh, so the rest of the guys could have some and not me being a fat master eating it all myself. Um, I got some flapjacks. Uh, they're normally good in the mornings or for like an afternoon snack. Again, from B&M, they were like 35p. And I, I had them since download. I know they're banging. Uh, and then finally, like I said, there's, there's going to be food stuff I'm going to buy before. I'm going to buy a few more little bits um, like I don't know, peanuts, and then I'm gonna buy some sausage rolls, some bacon, some sausages and stuff we're gonna cook on the barbecue. And I'll stick that all in the cooler, literally the day before we leave. So the morning of that, I will stick it in um, and it'll be fine. I did bring, I am bringing some Nescafe Gold Blend. I won't bring all of this um, and some coffee, mate. I won't bring all of these. Um, I will transfer them into these little, which cost me 94p, uh, these tiny little pots that I got. So I'll put, what I think I'll need for the three days out of these into here uh, and then I will take these with me which actually I thought was a good idea because I mean that's a lot of coffee mate you don't want to be taking all of that which also means that it must bring milk and um, there's no way I'm going to need that much coffee so I'll just drink the rest of it at home um, but yeah that's pretty much everything I'm taking apart from my trolley um, which is downstairs I'm not going to bring that upstairs I, you guys don't know what room I'm in but it's downstairs and I'm upstairs um, so I'm not going to bring that in so I will be bringing the trolley uh, and I'm driving, so I'll be taking it all in the car, so nice and easy. And yeah, that's everything that I will be bringing. Hopefully, um, you guys have seen some things there that might be helpful to you um, that I have brought with me. Uh, but hopefully, I'm sure I'll be fine carrying all this as well. You just pack it all onto the trolley, 
just um oh yeah cling film as well because i like to cling film the trolley properly um so cling film i will be buying or i might have some downstairs um but yeah that's it um hopefully you guys enjoyed all of that and i am very excited for Bloodstock, as always. Not um, a great year for me band-wise. Um, if you guys saw the live that I've done recently. Um, if you haven't, uh, I did a live recently talking all about Bloodstock, everything to do with it, and I watched my last vlog as well. So you guys should go and check that out in the live section of my channel. Um, but yeah, I'm buzzing. Bloodstock's always a great one. Um, I'm sure some of you are aware, but we're not staying the entire time. I have corn tickets in Gunnersbury Park in London on the Sunday. So I'm doing Thursday to Saturday at Bloodstock. And then on the Sunday morning, I'll be driving down to London to see Corn. So it's a bit of a different Bloodstock this year. Um, not seeing it all through, um, which is a shame because I really, really want to see Carcass and they're playing on the Sunday, which is really annoying. Um, but I am going to see Corn in Gunnersbury, which should be pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, that's everything. I've been babbling anyway. Um, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I think I looked the other day and it's like 80% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. All it takes is one click and it would really, really help you out massively. My aim in the next like three or four years is to get up to that 10K and get that 10K play button. At the moment, I'm obviously only on two, so it would be really great to just get past that, get to three and just keep going. Um, but anyway, if you're enjoying it a bit, like it uh, and subscribe. If not, um, that's okay. Thank you for watching anyway. And uh, yeah, I shall see you dudes at Bloodstock. Come and say hello if you see me there. I'm sure some of you will. Um, I'll be around with Ben and Stu and um, Kieran and Courtney from Dippy Donutters, a couple of other people that I know and that we know from, you know, from YouTube and all that. Uh, I'm sure we'll be hanging around with, in a big group with a lot of those people. So yeah, come and say hello if you see us there. And I shall see you dudes at Bloodstock or I'll see you dudes in the next video. Rip. You should go and subscribe to my channel just because, come on, subscribe.